Hello, this is Big Chi Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Since last time I've rearranged my party here, I've got Robo in the lead. That is absolutely critical. And I've got my party arranged here. I've also listed in, in the video description there. But yeah, it's really important that you have Robo in the lead, because past a certain point, you won't be able to switch your party member formation around. So, just something to keep in mind. Too late for that now. I wonder where it is anyway in this time period. I mean, it's gone now, so I don't know. But anyway, there's a magic capsule in the back there. You see it's arcling. That's never happened to me before. I thought you couldn't get that until after the next dungeon. Huh. I was going to say, you can't get it until after the next dungeon, but... Well, apparently I was wrong. Wow. Man, I'm learning so many new things from this LP. Okay, so we're done there, so let's visit the village common. See how everyone's doing. Yeah, pretty much. You're not. Yeah, we can grow... Uh, potatoes here, or something, I don't know. Kind of hard to grow anything on the snow, really. I like potatoes. Baked potatoes, particularly. I'm not a fan of sweet potatoes, I'll be honest with you. Oh, thank you, Lavos, for clearing out the Ice Age here. Okay. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, a little better. Uh, what the? How did he survive? That's... It looks like we're not in the clear yet. Disappointed! Well, there's not much of a kingdom to rule over, but... Huh? Oh, he's talking about the epoch. Now, I know, even though I left it back in the end of time, apparently, somehow it's here now, and he's taking it with him. Now, I know why they did it. They did it because they figured, well, you probably had to take the epoch to get back here in the first place, and you didn't just leave it at the end of time like that. So. Huh? Whoa! I like how they cleaned up that line, because like in the Super Nintendo version, he just said, How's this? And then your characters inexplicably turn their backs to him, and he shoots them in the back like that. Whereas here, well, they retranslated it, obviously. So, I like that. What happened? This is the last piece of technology they got? Oh my goodness! They were actually smart enough to take away our equipment for a change when they put us in prison. This must be the best prison ever. We're never going to get out of here. Well, let's see what's going on up here. Well, we can get out of here. If only I had Nina for my side LP, but no, no, can't happen. So, oh well. Hmm? What's going on, Lucas? Oh, maybe we should check that out. But before we do that, I want to show something else here. I don't know why my voice is cracking so much today, viewers. Sure, pretend to be sick. Or pregnant. Same difference. <laughs> Dumbass. So yeah, that's another way you can get out of here. You can just pretend to be sick and leave, but, well, let's just say you don't have Ayla in your party. Because if you don't, you can't fight enemies. If you get caught without Aila, then you're th then you'll be thrown back in your cell because well, you can't fight without your weapons. So, but Aila can. So it's also important that you have her in your party for this dungeon too. Uh, and we can't switch party members now, obviously. And well, yeah. So there. Yeah, Robo kind of looks weird in his. 
Berserker ring, but oh well. And just so you know, only characters who have their equipment will be able to gain experience and tech points from battle. So you want to get that as quickly as possible there. But yeah, I was talking about the translation for this game. One thing I uh, was thinking about, because obviously whenever they re-release a game, at least in my country, the United States, say, I don't know, maybe 5, 10, 15 years later, they retranslate it, right? Because if, well, obviously, a long time ago, well, translators, well, maybe weren't as well invested in, or maybe they didn't have the memory capacity to do a full translation. I mean, who knows? I mean, there's a variety of reasons why we may have not gotten a really clean, accurate translation. So they'd redo that, right? Perfect sense. I wonder if in Japan, when they do that, do they ever, well, not retranslate it, but I don't know, uh, re-script the game in Japanese? Because, like, I mean, I would imagine not. They could just take the script from the original game and just put it in the new one that they're remaking, right? So, why bother? Well, let me show you something here. I want to use... Uh, is that it? Tailspin? Yeah, yeah, Tailspin. I want to show that off a little bit. But yeah, like, I know with, say, Final Fantasy IV, the original hardtype version was meant for older children, right? Who were who had played RPGs before, they could handle the complexity of the game, and the vocabulary reflected that. I heard that the EasyType version of that game, uh, only in Japan, by the way, the EasyType version, not our EasyType version, uh, in Japan, the EasyType version not only took out all the stuff that they had from the United States version of the game, but also they retranslated it to use... Uh, I don't know if less sophisticated is the right word, but less complex language so that younger children could more easily understand it. At least that's what I've heard. I don't know. I, I mean, obviously, I'm not in Japan. I've never played the game. I don't speak it, so I, I don't know. That's just what I heard. I saw a, a, a website where a guy was not retranslating Final Fantasy IV, but comparing all the different translations of the game. So, I just found that interesting. But I wonder if they ever, like, re-script the game in Japan whenever they re-release a game there. Or port a game or something. I don't know. That's... We better stop them before they destroy it. Well, six of them. Yeah, just a good fire too. take care of those guys. Yeah, you just press the switch there. And it sends the conveyor belt in the other direction. Get out of there! Get out of there! Good. Oh, wait. That one's already going in the right direction. I might have been able to skip past those guys real fast if I tried. But I didn't feel like it. Now, before getting that treasure chest there, there's one thing I want to check out here. If you go up here without getting everything... Yeah, they give you a little warning that, hey, we haven't gotten all of our equipment, items, and money back yet. So, I mean, I would imagine, I guess you could leave without them, but it would probably be a really bad idea. So, yeah, now we've gotten everything, but, well, almost everything. There is one more thing that I uh, want to get here. Once you've gotten all of the treasure chests in the dungeon, well, you can get another item. It won't show up before getting all that stuff back. So you go up top. Oh. And you go back up top here. We're at the uppermost part of the dungeon. Ha ha! Yeah, there's a hidden treasure! The magic capsule. Yeah, it won't show up before getting all the items for whatever reason. I don't know why. Oh, there it is. So as you said, on Robo there. Wow, he's almost caught up with Luca there. Yeah, that'll really help him out a lot with his healing abilities, and, well, there's a, a very specific reason why I've brought Luca along here. And Robo, for that matter, especially those two, and Ayla. I didn't just bring them just because. There's a good reason. Yeah, I figured I might as well take these guys out. 
But yeah, that room I passed up back there, uh, there's nothing in there. So I just figured, man, let's just pass it up. There's like a ladder upstairs, I think. But whatever, I don't know. But anyway, here we got these guys. Let's see, what are they called, anyway? I think they're called turrets, if I recall correctly. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, they're turrets, okay. They're essentially the same thing as rubbles. The way they work, it, except they can actually hit you, but it's negligible. They lock out all your attacks, and if you manage to kill them before they run away, you get a ton of tech points. So, I'm just gonna fight all six of them off screen here, and I'll just meet you on the other side of the wing there. Okay, we're back. Well, I killed five out of six of those turrets before they ran away, so not bad, not bad. Okay, so, first things first, uh, before moving on, once you've killed all six turrets, let's see, we want to get, ah, there's the speed ring on Robo there, and I'll equip Ayla with anything, it doesn't really matter. I'll give her the alluring tap, because I think it's sexy, so. Okay, I think that's everything. Let me just, uh, heal up a little bit there. Thanks for the kissies. And then, in order to progress with the plot, go as far to the left as you can, around the lower left area, and, well, something will happen. How big could it possibly be? That's not very big at all. For boss time! Against the Golem Overlord himself. Overlord! 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 Yeah, we want to use our new Double Bomb Dual Tech. Holy cow, look at that damage. Yeah, Double Bomb is really, really, really good. It's probably one of the most powerful dual techs in the game. The thing, the, er, yeah, the thing with that dual tech is it's dependent on Robo's position relative to the enemy. He'll only hit enemies who are standing near him. So that's why I wanted to have Robo in the lead of the party, because if not, then he won't be able to use Double Bomb. You'll have to go with, well, I'd probably go with Rapid Fire Fist and Blaze Kick, if you got it. Oh wait, no, we couldn't even do Blaze Kick, could we? Well, yeah, maybe Beast Toss would probably be better. Yeah, probably Beast Toss or whatever you want to use. But yeah, Double Bomb makes pretty quick work. So, alright. If you just sit around long enough, he's still not going to do anything, though. He's just afraid of heights or something like that. Well, you give it some Red Bull? No. No. I would have gotten away with it, too, if you weren't for you meddling kids. music. Ah, sweet music to my ears. Wouldn't that be, like, really, really dangerous? Eh, I kind of like the original Woolsey's, um, we have liftoff, Houston, even though that makes absolutely no sense and is entirely inaccurate, probably, but I just kind of liked it, I guess. Apparently so. I like how he's like not even surprised that we've broken out of our cell. He doesn't care at all. You're hitting your own shit, dude. Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. I'm gonna blow you for boss time! Okay, same thing as last... Oh, right, we're low on MP there. Whoops. I'm gonna have to actually use some of my ethers from the Too Good To Use Club. Okay, I've got over 50 of them, but that's besides the point. But yeah, uh, Boulder Toss, pretty good. And then we'll use a good Double Bomb, and that should take care of it. Yeah, this is... This is another reason why you want Robo in the lead position, so that way you can use Double Bomb on him. 
And normally I don't like having Robo in the lead, but well, this boss fight, I think it works pretty well. Ha ha! And we'll never see him again. Seems to be doing okay. Oh yeah, might have changed things around. Of course, then again, before we didn't have flying controls or lasers. Were the lasers on that thing before? I don't recall seeing them on it before. I could be wrong. I wasn't paying attention to that. Obviously, the wings were, weren't there, but... The X key on your keyboard! Press the X key! Alt F4! Alt F4! No. No. Man, these guys just keep on blowing themselves up. Uh-huh. And don't tell anyone, though, if this is a futuristic ship. Yay! We got my air ship, just as if I did in my other LP. How nice. Well, at least we got some free maintenance done on this thing. Okay, let's take a look around. Can we find any clues? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!